These brothers are about to hear a familiar sound they haven't heard in years. He's addicted to whistle. That's pretty much like that. Sometimes it's really annoying, like because he does that every time. You are in the mall, you are in the restaurant, he's whistling and loud. So sometimes we say, stop whistling for God's sake. But that's his brand, you know, that's how people recognize him. We lost him in Walmart or Target. We say, okay, let's let's hear. And then we could find him, you know, <laughs> whistling. Brothers Mateus, Theo, and Joao, ages 10, 9, and 7, adore their grandpa. But they hadn't seen him since they moved from Brazil because of their family's dream to live in the U.S. My parents were heartbroken. They were super happy from one side, of course. They are the kind of the parents who cheer for us. They knew about these dreams that we have, like this big dream that my husband and I had always had. And so we decided to start it and they they encouraged us but it was so heartbreaking for them like especially for my dad because he's this he's this kind of tough guy who doesn't show emotion a lot that he did he didn't even want to say goodbye so he didn't say goodbye to the boys travel restrictions and health complications made it difficult for grandpa dino to visit for over two and a half years and my boys were like especially the older one because he was the one who had more more memories and um He's more, he's a tough boy here, but he actually he, he was the one who sometimes during the night cry, asking for them, asking why they, they are not coming. But he wouldn't have to ask much longer, because as soon as Grandpa Dino was strong enough to travel, visiting the boys was his first stop. And as soon as the boys heard the familiar tune, they knew exactly who was home. We were like, wow, in shock, especially the older one because he was the one missing most. The boys knew he was sick. All the time they knew like that we could have lost him during surgery or something else. So I think they were loud, like holding that feeling about, okay, he's alive and he's here. For me, it was super emotional as well because I didn't know if I would, I would, be, I would be seeing my father again. So it was a blessing to see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah.